the setup we have is a feral hog uh, lung and we have an endotracheal tube going through the trachea with the cuff inflated and then we're just holding on to the trachea. We're using a Mercury Medical Lifesaver BVM with a manometer and a peep valve. What we're trying to demonstrate here is the effect of PEEP on lung recruitment and maintaining lung expansion. And we're going to demonstrate ventilating without any PEEP, with five of PEEP, 10 of PEEP, 15 and then 20 of PEEP. We'll gradually increase the level of PEEP and then we'll take that down completely and show what happens as the lung deflates. So our first ventilation, we have no PEEP at all. So we're going to bag this up and obviously this is a artificial scenario. This animal is dead. All right, so I am now bagging with zero PEEP. This is as far off as it can get. And the thing to notice there is that the lungs expand partially, but then they collapse. Watch the collapse. So I'm now going to engage five of PEEP and notice that the first bag is about the same, but the lung doesn't completely collapse. And then subsequent ventilations expand the lung a little bit more. Now, this is again a little artificial because in life, the lung is attached to the visceral and parietal pleura, so they are affixed to the intercostal space. So there is some external support there that we don't have in this model. So PEEP is much more effective where it's not completely collapsing. So I'm going to dial in five of PEEP here. Five-ish of PEEP. There we go. And we're going to bag again and again watch the stair-step expansion and the lack of complete deflation. You'll also note that a little bit more and more of lung is inflating each time. Now I've just dialed in 10 of PEEP and I'm going to bag again and notice that I have not bagged in 30, 40 seconds to a minute and the lungs have not completely collapsed. I'm going to start bagging at 10. And you'll notice more of the lung is remaining expanded. Now I'm going to go up to 15 of PEEP. And now 20. And now basically I'm going to turn the PEEP all the way on. I want all of the PEEPs. And please note, I realize I'm ventilating way too fast. That is for demonstration purposes. I am truly not worried about changes in interthoracic pressure and cardiac output in this model. And I'm going to continue to ventilate here until we get a really good picture of a completely expanded lung. And notice in particular in here, where there was a lot of collapse, this is now completely expanded and inflated. And we are seeing some good looking lung right there. 
And now instead of gradually turning the peep off, I'm just going to disconnect this circuit from the BBM, from the lock. And that is the same thing that's happening when you turn peep off.